The more things change, the more they stay the same. Good evening, everyone. Folks, I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And this could not be more accurate when it comes to these two dopes. Harry and Meghan are losers. They've always been losers, and they're always going to be losers. I was going through my phone looking for something that happened a couple years ago, and I was when I was flipping through, I realized it's the same shit, different year with these two. It's absolutely ridiculous. So what I thought we'd do is take a look at a snapshot in time just to show how stupid they really are. And man, are they stupid. The snapshot in time, and this is just random based on what I was looking for, but the snapshot in time we're going to look at is August 10th, 2022 through January 1st, 2023. First up from the Express, Prick Harry once clear out of Megan's chosen PR team after big comeback fail. So, Back in August, back in August 2022, a year and a half ago, Harry and Meghan were staging big comebacks and failing at big comebacks. Also, nothing has changed there. I'm sure there were plenty before that. And as we certainly know, there have been and will be plenty more after that. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous when you go back and look at this stuff. August 16th, 2022, from the Express, Meghan and Harry's failure could spell doom for their Netflix and Spotify paymasters. Well, so we all know what happened there, them being lazy effing grifters, etc., etc. But this has been going on for a very long time. I mean, no wonder we're so sick of them. It's the same thing over and over again. Spotify at least got out. Netflix, I mean, who knows? Who knows what they're doing? They probably have their best contract lawyers on it. But I mean, this is, yeah. Megan and Harry are venturing into the lion's den with UK visit. Craig Harry and Meghan Markle are returning to the UK in September, but royal reunions aren't on the couple's official agenda. Now we hear this over and over again, rinse and repeat. Netflix from Marie Claire, Netflix cameras highly likely to join Harry and Meghan Markle on forthcoming UK trip. Now, I can't really remember their Netflix documentary, nor do I want to, quite frankly, but I can't remember if they had any footage from that or not, but I'm sure the Netflix cameras, well, the Netflix cameras are always with them, or Megan's just mic'd up on her own, but we know, we know the drill. From Yahoo News, via amid scabies, royal staff and the British government need to make sure Harry and his family get the security they need before it's too late. What a drama queen. Well, thankfully, no one has been hurt and everybody's all right. But it just goes to show that everybody uh, for the past year and a half and longer than that has gotten, a gotten along just fine without the security from People Magazine, Her Prick Harry visits Kigali Genocide Memorial in new photos from Africa visit. Well, that's because he cares, folks. See, Harry, now looking back at this, Harry looks like he cares about African people and African genocide and everything like that. But now we know that isn't quite the, the case. He can stage a photo op at a museum, but he can't do anything for the poor people that are suffering at the hands of his charity rangers. What a farce this dude is. He's standing, look at Harry just standing there staring at the pictures like he's all serious. You'll like this, in style. The princess finds so many parallels between Meghan Markle and Princess Diana. This is good. Meghan Markle reveals she had to continue Africa tour despite a fire breaking out in Archie's room. Well, we all know that that didn't happen, folks. From Newsweek, Meghan Markle says, We had to leave our baby after fire in Archie's room. Well, you have no problems leaving him otherwise any other time. And or your invisible daughter, you have no problem leaving them for weeks at a time. And there weren't even fires in their rooms. 
from People Magazine, Meghan Markle doesn't want Prick Harry to lose his father. You mean the racist? She doesn't want Harry to lose his racist father? It doesn't have to be the same for them, meaning, you know, like it is with her and her father. Why doesn't it have to be the same, Meghan? Does the size of a pocketbook have something to do with it? Residual benefits and things like that? She doesn't want it to be the same for them. We know, folks. From the Daily Beast, Harry told Meghan Markle, I lost my dad in the process of exiting royal family. Now, where have we heard that before? Oh, we heard it in the, uh, the Netflix documentary when Meghan said, I lost my dad in this. She said it, she, she claimed she said to King Charles, I lost my dad in this. Well, it's funny that Harry said the same thing. Thanks. Meghan Markle takes another swipe at the royals. Duchess insists she was happy to leave the UK because just by existing, she and Harry were upsetting the hierarchy and moans others were given roles they wanted as she reveals she could rejoin Instagram. Okay, so no one's no one cares that you exist, Megan. Let's just start there. And You'd be upsetting the hierarchy if you took the roles away from them. That would be upsetting the hierarchy. So that doesn't work. The only thing that got upset because they weren't given the roles they wanted was the narcissist and the brat, Prick Harry. We were, we were upsetting the hierarchy and others were given the roles they wanted. Uh, so no. No. <laughs> this is good, folks. Mystery over Meghan Markle's Nelson Mandela claims as actor as actor who says he's the only South African in Lion King live action film insists he's never met Duchess after bombshell interview claimed cast member compared her wedding to leader's re release. I'm sure you all haven't forgotten, but, you know, just saying this again, the woman actually said that the people in South Africa rejoiced when her and Harry got married. September 18th, 2022, Harry and Meghan Markle as Harry and Meghan Markle as part-time royals might really be happening. Oh, really? Cuz I don't think so, and we're still seeing these headlines now. It's all contingent on one big caveat. What's that? What Meghan wants? Her big caveat, whatever that is, don't care. But yeah, so they've been pushing this for a year and a half. Harry appears to stop singing God Save the King during Queen's funeral. What a scumbag. Harry will be permanently exiled by ruthless King Charles, sources say. Oh, you mean the racist that Harry that Megan doesn't want Harry to stop, you know, talking and she doesn't want to lose her dad, and it doesn't have to be the same because he's got the pocketbook, etc. etc. When Harry and Meghan are the ones that exiled themselves, King Charles Ruthless. Harry was morbidly obsessed with keeping Archie's birth private. Yeah, now that's strange. He was morb morbidly obsessed with it, and morbidly to define that for you all in a way that is unusual and is regarded as disturbing or unhealthy. A girl who morbidly wears her dead mother's clothes, or a couple who morbidly keeps a lock of one's dead mother's hair on their nightstand. Now, Harry was Harry was morbidly obsessed at the time, but. He wasn't obsessed with keeping Archie's birth private in his book when he talked about huffing on nitrous and everything like that. So where, where was the change there? Harry and Meghan split from PR company, all the details. So that would be when Sunshine Sacks dumped them when they couldn't pay the bills. But right here, Hello Magazine is acting like Harry and Meghan split from that. How's that working out for you? Because you were a disaster then on September 26, 2022. <laughs> and you are certainly a disaster now. Harry Meghan, desperate to edit Netflix show, memoir after Queen's death. Well, I'm sure they were desperate. Now, if they actually did edit the Netflix show, they missed a part. 
They missed the one part that they should have taken out of that to try and not seem like the assholes that they are, but, you know, good call. Harry and Meghan Markle hunting for new estate in Hope Ranch. Well, they're still hunting for a new house in Malibu, L.A., Beverly Hills, wherever. Sussex is on the move. Meghan and Harry are eyeing homes in exclusive California private community Hope Ranch and may have already bought one there. <laughs> After deciding their $14 million Montecito mansion does not properly accommodate them. Well, it's been a year and a half, folks. It just goes to show that all of these things are, not that we don't know, that all of these things are just put out and they are just pure and absolute total crap and lies. From Fox News, Harry and Meghan Markle hold hands in newly released photos of defiance. Psychotherapist. A psychotherapist said the never-before-seen photos show Harry and Meghan are not going away anytime, on, anytime soon. Now, unfortunately, this one is true and has come true. They haven't gone away, and they are not going away anytime soon, as much as we would like them. But it is fun to laugh, so... That one was right. This this one ended up being true, folks. The rest of them, not so much. October 10th, 2022, another PR executive leaves Team Sussex. Well, that's always happening. There's always, that's a revolving door over there, folks. I mean, a couple just quit a month or a couple of them just quit a month or so ago. So that's still going on. Meghan Markle discusses how Prick Harry helped her at her worst point in new podcast episode. Is that so? Because you talked about being at your worst point, Meghan, when you were on Oprah and your husband, your dipshit husband said, well, I was too embarrassed to talk to my family about it. I was embarrassed about how she was. So he didn't help you there. And then he also didn't help by calling all the therapists that he have, he has and all the mental health organizations that he's involved with, et cetera, et cetera. So did he help you or did you need help at all? Probably not. From Glamour Magazine, Meghan Markle is reportedly willing to accept Kate Middleton's olive branch in NYC. Oh, my God. Harry and Meghan Markle declined Queen's invite to Balmoral twice, author claims, a source of regret. Well, I'm sure there is a level of regret there, but not the type of regret that you and I would feel if we didn't go see somebody that died. There's regret there that, you know, they didn't get something. Now, what's funny about this is Harry and Meghan, of all the things that Harry has said in his book, Spare, and things like that, they never, and the Queen had cancer and they all knew that, they never said, well, we didn't know, they didn't tell us she didn't have cancer, or they didn't tell us she had cancer, or we would have gone. That's never come out of their mouth. They never denied knowing that she had cancer. So she had cancer, and they still didn't go two times. Meghan Markle ad admits Doc is not documentary is not how she and Harry would have told it. Oh, so shift the blame. I remember this. Meghan Markle doesn't appear pleased with the director, the direction her and her her and Harry's docu series is taken. Somebody else's fault. The Duchess of Sussex not only confirmed the existence of the docu series, but also suggest suggested that she wished. The director, Liz Garbus, had done it differently. Well, how else was she supposed to do it? You, It is how you told it. It was all in your words. It wasn't like they put together a documentary and didn't include it. You know, it was an unofficial documentary. You're the ones who told it. <laughs> See, they were distancing themselves, obviously, before it even came out. Unbelievable. Harry and Meghan Markle's statement in their Netflix statements in their Netflix documentaries documentary contradicted what the Duke has written in his memoir and left filmmakers confused, a source claims. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it left a lot of people confused, not us, because he's a, we all know that he's a compulsive, flat-out liar. 
Meghan Markle won over King Charles with her beautiful American confidence. Meghan found second father in father-in-law King Charles. You mean the racist. They question your baby's skin tone and wouldn't give him a title and things like that. Kate Middleton reportedly wants to mend fences with Meghan Markle while visiting the U.S. in December. It's always Kate Middleton, folks. Kate Middleton, you know, so between all of the, over the years, between all of the olive branches and mended fences and, you know, what have you, it's always Kate Middleton and somehow none of them have ever panned out. Megan is willing to put in the effort as long as the dates don't clash. Of course she is. As long as it doesn't interfere with Megan's schedule. Megan Markle on Complicated Time, Queen's Death, and Netflix show. I'm a real person. Megan Markle says she's grateful that she was able to be with her husband, Harry, after Queen Elizabeth's passing. Oh, really? Is that why you turned down Balmoral twice? Meghan Markle is opening up about grief being mis about grief being misunderstood in her Netflix show. So it's not her, it's all of you misunderstanding her. You're the problem. In a new interview with Variety, Markle discusses her mourning period following the death of Queen Elizabeth, saying she's grateful for the love and support that she was able to be for the love love and support and that she was able to be with her husband Harry at the time. What's so beautiful is to look at the legacy that his grandmother was able to leave on so many fronts, the 41-year-old Duchess said. Certainly in terms of female leadership, she is the most shining example of what that looks like. Really, then you'd think that you'd want to go see her before, you know, she passed away and she was ill with cancer. But here's, I just realized it, folks. Here's why she didn't, they didn't go see her. Because Queen Elizabeth probably was in no condition for any photo ops so therefore there was no reason to go though it's been a complicated time mourning the loss of her royal highness markle and harry are trying to have a positive outlook remembering the queen is now with her husband prince philip whom you also blew off and gave that interview when he was on his deathbed markle expressed her deep gratitude to be able to get to know the queen but not spend the last moments with her twice, and reflected on the first official engagement they did together. I feel fortunate, and I continue to be proud to have had a nice warmth with the ma matriarch of the family. What a load of bollocks. The passing of Queen Elizabeth has left Markle and Harry with a new perspective on what they hope to focus on in the days to come. From People Magazine, October 24th, 2022, Better Up CIO Prick Harry says he never, ever thought he'd be championing coaching and therapy. Well, you're not alone there, Harry, because we didn't think you would be either, nor should you be. Nor should you be. Now, why wouldn't Harry, I mean, you know, I mean, what's that? This is odd, folks. I never thought I'd be champion coaching and therapy. Good Lord. Meghan Markle slams Duchess difficult label. I make a choice to be grounded. Well, either you're grounded or you're not. And you're not. So therefore, you're not making a choice to be. Meghan Markle says, <laughs> do you remember this? Meghan Markle says, Prick Harry was stumped by UK citizenship test. Well, thank you for confirming everything that we already knew, Megan, because we all know he's a complete idiot. Yet he's sh yet at the same time he's championing mental health and doing all the things that he does. Meghan Markle raves. Harry is great at helping with their kids. Really, because Harry just said that when asked how he is with his, his kids, he said that was classified. Harry has no regrets about detailing traumatic childhood in book. Well, I want that was on November 5th, 2022. I wonder if he's got regrets now. Maybe not about the childhood stuff, but I'm sure there is regret. And the only thing he regrets is it didn't go the way that he wanted it to. 
This is good. From She Knows, Prince William reportedly offered an 11th hour olive branch to Prince Harry before the Queen's funeral. Really? Who said that? Where did that come from? Because in the book, I, you know, in your book, Harry, and all of the, the other articles that we've read about how cruel William is, is that he didn't tell you and he blocked your calls and wouldn't, you left, wouldn't have you on the plane. So which one is it? Maybe, I, I hope he didn't, but maybe William did reportedly, maybe William did like reach out and then Harry's just lying about it. Either way, somebody's lying here. Or we all know who the liars are, but were they lying then or were they lying now? Or both, who knows? Harry and Meghan Markle have a standing invitation to Royal Christmas, but almost definitely won't go. So we've been hearing this for years. Same shit, different year. Crick Harry keeps key role as King Charles shakes up duties within the royal family. Now, this has been regurgitated again, and I haven't really kept up with this. You guys have said that he has... I don't know if that he's been removed as counselor of state, but he's counselor of state in name only, like he's like last last on the call sheet or something. But again, same old, same old. Harry and Meghan plan to build their own world in new virtual universe to reach more fans. What happened to that? I remember this because I distinctly make remember making fun of it. Where'd this go? More crap, more lies. It's never ending. Meghan Markle podcast guest implies Duchess didn't actually interview her. Meghan Markle, America's laziest interviewer. Well, I have to say, Lemonada, if Meghan wasn't do like, so this all was happening. Megan didn't interview the people, and she's the America's laziest interviewer. If she didn't do all that, what she was supposed to do with Spotify when they were paying her $20 million, imagine how little she's going to do with a company that doesn't have money to pay her in peanuts. This should be good. Meghan Markle's latest Archetypes episode languishes at 77 on the U.S. Spotify chart, beaten by a collection of baby lullabies, as her podcast sits at number 22. And now years before that, when she was on with Elton John and Harry and whomever else, uh, I think they were beaten by whale noises or something. So, same shit, different year, folks. The from Hello, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex led special nominations in Hello's Kind List in 2022. Now, what's funny, well, first of all, what's funny about this is it's funny. And second is why didn't they, they I don't recall them making the Kind List last year. Where were they on this? I'm sure Hello Magazine had it. I would think so. They weren't on it this year. We would have heard about it. Harry and Meghan Markle, distancing from Netflix. Well, I think that was their documentary, but, you know, this they were already putting out, and this was, you know, a little over a year ago, that they were already setting the groundwork. So this whole Netflix story has been going on forever. Oh, and I love how it has Harry, the Duke of Sussex, British military officer. I'm not really sure that's accurate. Meghan Markle's podcast producer quits days after Archwell Chief resigned. So there's more staff leaving. Never ends. Now, why'd the podcast producer quit? I can't remember. Harry and Meghan talk tearing down mightiest walls of oppression at awards gala. This would have been the Ripple of Turd gala and um, Ripple of Hope awards. And the royal family and the monarchy is the mightiest walls of oppression. Yet at the same time, um, she doesn't want to, you know, Harry wants to go back and work for them and he's there for them and, and everything like that, you know. In style, the royal family is already being petty about Harry's memoir. King Charles is reportedly waiting to see what's in the book as he decides what happens to Archie and Lilibet's title. Well, unfortunately for you and I, folks, is the royal family isn't as petty as we would want them to be, and they're not as petty as I would be. I would be so petty and 
everything else when it came to the Sussexes, but this isn't true. 2022 is the year we all finally got tired of narcissists. Narcissists had their moment in the sun, but in 2022, some of them got their own comeuppance, and some of them got worse. Our disinterest. Notice who's in the center, folks. So everybody was sick of her last year calling her a narcissist. Now, she's not the biggest one, but she certainly is in the center. So how do you think everybody feels about her now? Harry was disappointed. Relatives couldn't see Megan and Diana's similarities. According to author Tom Bauer, Harry hoped his late mother's siblings and friends would see the similarities he felt Megan shared with Diana and was disappointed when they failed to do so. Nightmare for the Royals, Meghan Markle plotting to write a tell-all that will spill about King Charles and Queen Camilla. Sources, OK Magazine, Meghan Markle is contemplating writing an explosive memoir. Source claims, there's little to lose. Well, apparently there's not little to lose. There's a lot to lose, or this bitch would have already written it by now. But I doubt it would have been about King Charles and Queen Camilla. We'll get there. Meghan Markle is losing America's sympathy by Jack Royston, December 28th, 2022. So where do you think she is now? Harry's upcoming memoir will allegedly target these two members of the royal family more than anyone else. As soon as people got word that Prick Harry was releasing a memoir, everyone started to let their mind wa minds wander. With the long-awaited book coming in only nine days, everyone is wondering, what are we in for? A bunch of stories and lies and crap and whining. What the heck is going to come from this? People have been dead set on the fact that Spare will rip his father, King Charles III, to shreds, but an insider says that's surprisingly not the case. Apparently, along with discussing the trauma of losing his mother, Princess Diana, at such a young age, Harry's book has these two members of the royal family getting the brunt of his criticism, William and Kate Middleton. So, so, I, I can't remember with Spare, nor do I care, if he re really went out went after Catherine, but he did go after William. And then Catherine and Charles got it in Megan's book by proxy from Amid Scabies' Endgame. So Catherine, what they're saying here, Catherine got it from both. So we all know who the driving factor is, because I really don't think that Harry really has a problem with Princess Catherine. But who does, so that's all I have for you. I thought you'd enjoy that little snapshot in time. Let me know if you want me to do some more of these of different times. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And it just goes to show how full of shit these people are, how it's the same thing over and over again. And it proves that nothing's going to change for them. Oh, the only thing, that it, excuse me, I'm incorrect. Things will change for them. It's just going to get worse. Things, if things, if things haven't been getting better in the past year now, they're not going to be getting better now. They're on a downward spiral, as we all love to see it. So, again, let me know if, if you like this little snapshot in time, but I wanted to share with you. Um, talk to you later. Looking forward to your comments.